Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and we are reading excerpts from Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. That rock is Jesus, by the way. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing. Yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou said, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Now, verse 10 says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Listen, I'm a, and then verse 13, I'm skipping around. I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Verse 14, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Listen, I don't care what's going on in these last days. Now, Davina shared a dream where she saw a demonic ritual, a satanic ritual, where these two women were painted in red. I'm, I'm not going to retell it, but basically they were ushering in spirits of perversion into the atmosphere. In these last days, demons are being cut loose. They're being summoned. They're being sent. They're being assigned in much bigger ways than ever before because Satan knows that his time is short. Mm, mm, mm. But for all of God's people, there will always be a way of escape. There will always be supernatural provision when the natural provision is cut off. Always. You have no need to fear when God is on your side. And God says, I am for you. I ask you right now, what are you afraid of? What are you intimidated by? What's got your nerves on edge? While people are losing their jobs, God's people are getting jobs. Think about that. Think about it. While businesses are closing across the country, those that have God's favor, their businesses are thriving. Excuse me. The way God works is you got two roads. You got the wide road and you got the narrow road. And for those who are willing to humble themselves and allow God to direct them and clean, clean up their act, and they're willing to obey and lay down some of their rights and lay down whatever rights they want to hang on to be for the sake of God, they they hunger and thirst after God and his righteousness. They seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. They're all about the things of God. God is all about them. They're on that narrow road. Now you got the fat road. The fat road is the popular road. That's where everybody can do their thing. They can 
uh, eat, drink, and be merry. They can screw. They can have orgies. They can get high. They can get drunk. They can cheat, steal, kill, murder, whatever. They can do their thing, whatever. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. They're on that fat road. Picture the roads. Two roads. That little narrow road. It's not as populated. That fat road is highly, it's overpopulated. Uh -huh. The little narrow road, it ain't popular. But let me tell you this. While all hell is breaking loose on that fat road, think about it. While all hell is breaking loose on that fat road, while things are going helter-skelter and and people are losing jobs and losing their homes and getting sick and having all kinds of problems and, and, and people are killing and dying and, 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 get, and running off with the wrong person and missing out on their destiny and being cheated by the devil and being sodomized by the devil while they live a life of sodomy, a life of perversion. And their master is their slave master. Their master is destroying them, steadily tearing them down bit by bit, chunk by chunk. That little narrow road with them little homely folks that are following God, the unpopular route. That road has got God's people owning houses, buying houses, being blessed by inheritances, being moved from a bad situation to a better situation, being shifted around, being blessed, being healed, given favor. They're getting jobs while they're losing jobs. They're getting blessed while they're being cursed. They're, they're having to use restraint. They're having to use self-discipline. But as they do that, God is pouring blessings on top of blessings on their lives while they're being played and used, abused, and, and misused. And oh my goodness, they are just being literally burned up by the lies of the devil's dazzling flames. And they don't even know it. As Proverbs 23 says, I was beaten. And I didn't even know it. When I awake, I'll go back again. It's like they go back for more. They bend their behinds over. Satan is kicking them in their behind. Satan is using them. Satan is tricking them. Satan is playing them. And they're going back for more and more and more. No, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. More and more and more. Why? Because I don't want no God telling me what to do. Oh, no, 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 no. It's my thing. No, it's my thing. I'm grown. I'm three times seven. You don't want to humble yourself. But you don't mind being played for a fool. Because you think you're in control. Well, I say to God's people, hip, hip, hooray for you. Because God is on your side. And you don't have to worry about what's happening over there. Because God's got your blessing on the narrow road. You stay on that road. Don't let no chump from that fat road stray you away. Don't let no, no, no brick house, no fine mama stray you away. Don't let no nookie, don't let no hide, nothing in a bottle, don't let nothing pull you aside. You stay on that narrow road. And your journey, as we enter in to the beginning of sorrows, will not be so sorrowful for you. Even when things get tight, and some of us may have to lose some things, the pain of it all will be totally removed and replaced by God's exhilarating joy, which will make it all okay. Now, somebody can put fire on my skin. I can feel it. I can get burnt by it. And there's damage on my hand, on the back of my skin. But the way God does you, you won't feel it, you won't be burnt, 
and there'll be no damage. So even though fire may come on you, you won't be burned. When the floods come, you won't be overtaken, drowned, or swept away. See, the Bible says, death, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? See, with us, we don't have to suffer what they'll have to suffer. So whatever you've given up for God, whatever sins you have forsaken for his sake, trust me, baby, the pay, the reward that he gives you right here on this earth will be so worth it, so worth it. You'll be living in safety while the fat road folks will be living in danger. God bless you. God bless you. And be encouraged. No matter what happens in this country, no, no matter what happens in the demonic realm, no matter what happens around you, always remember Psalms 91, a thousand shall fall and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. God bless you.